Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so um, let's see what you guys, Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, and as well uh, Rising, are to experience in the uh, in the upcoming weeks uh, week. I'm sorry. And um, in the video, uh, we are gonna have a look at into your uh, love life and your career life as well. And the first thing that we're gonna start with that is going to be uh, your love life. So let me just uh, shuffle the cards and uh, see what you guys got. Right, so the first one, that is to be the Two of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Page of uh, Pentacles, uh, followed by the Queen of Cups. And then the last one that we do have for you, Aries, that is to be the uh, King of Swords. Now, that is in terms of, uh, term of love and relationships. So this week, you, are to, you may find yourself a little bit more... Is the word really uneased? It is like on a verge of waiting something to happen around. Some kind of a, a that stance it is that you are going to have. Thinking that, you know, observing the small changes that are happening into either your relationship or into your love life in general are going to start making you think that things has to change. To a certain extent. That is because the Two of Pentacles, especially if we are talking about a relationships, it is a um, about adapting yourself to the new situation. For example, to the new social circle, for example, to the new person of interest that you do have, or for example, to the new environment into your a current, um, current relationship. So what we do have here with the Page of Pentacles sitting on the second position in terms of love and career, it kind of, um, <clears throat> it kind of points that um, uh, because you go up, uh, go about with the previous concepts of yours for a future love or for current love, there are some things or, or some actions that you do uh, or some routines that you do keep, which investing into them moving forward is going to be rather futile. And for that reason, you are likely to find yourself in terms of love and relationship, changing your behavior and in generally how you tackle with the things into your relationship and, and with uh, and within your social circle as well, which is not going to be a bad thing at all. Just on the contrary, now having the Queen of Cups into the uh, third position of the sprite, that pretty much points that everything you are to do throughout the week itself, in terms of love, it is going to correlate with your, um, with your emotional state. So everything you do will be addressed to nurturing and containing, if you will, 
your personal emotion, your personal satisfaction, your personal love. Now, a couple, couple of notes I want to make, um, especially for those which are single. Now, according to, to these cards, if you are to look for a love interest throughout the week, you are to find that love interest outside of your current social circle, okay? Just based at those cards. If you are interested into some, someone from your social circle, well, probably this is not the best week that you can go and pretty much attack that position or try to make a point here for one or another reason. Just because we do have the Page of Pentacles uh, into the second position, this card pretty much speaks for you, Aries, that it's highly unlikely throughout the week itself to transform friendship into something more just on the, uh, and even more than that having the queen of uh, cups into the third position kind of speaks for even bigger commitment into the friendship and one stu once stuck into the friendship zone always is to be stay into the friendship zone so don't make that mistake should you be in love with someone you already know just let it in peace at least for that week and then into the next one maybe the odds are going to be in your favor and how the week ends at the end here with uh, the uh, king of swords um this isn't an, an ideal card to have for the week itself uh, for a love itself, uh, should you say, because the King of Swords operates purely into a, 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 a through a physical drive, okay? And should you uh, find, for example, a person of interest, it's highly likely that that person of interest is to be attracted to you just for your outer look. That is at first, okay? Uh, things could kind of get more committed moving forward into the future, but make no mistake, new suitors throughout the week or new person of interest, they are to be attached to you or hold you as, a, uh, as an interest because you look good, not because you are a gentle person. That is at least at the first, uh, at the first glance. But the card also stands very strong for those that are already in relationship and pretty much points that whatever disagreements you may find in there because again the week is going to be a week of, uh, of small changes into your current relationship um, instead of uh, you know trying frantically to fix those uh, disagreements in those uh, arguments giving yourself a time to actually analyze the situation well will give you the recipe for very effective actions that you can take in order to pretty much resolve those uh, those disagreements and miss how can I say, miscalculations, if you will, or, or misinterpretations as well. So that being said, that was in terms of, um, term of your relationship and love. Just give me a second to regain back control over my camera. So let's see what uh, awaits you in terms of a career. Right, so the first card in terms of career that is to be the uh, Five of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, Ace of Cups, uh, followed by the Two of Swords, and the last one uh, that is to be the Magician. And that's quite interesting, uh, very, very interesting, uh, in fact. So, uh, Aries, uh, this week, uh, in terms of career, you are really going to dive into the, uh, into the mess that it is going on around. Now, that doesn't necessarily speak that it's going to be your mess around, okay? That is especially true for those which are already working into their company and into a, a company or for a business or having their own private business. And... Um, what you are to address there are every kind of those uh, minor details, if you will, or issues which are trifles that are making the business and uh, in person your place rather uncertain and insecure. So uh, I will try to say it in another way. Instead of waiting for a miracle to make your job better or in, more, in some extreme cases to save your job, you alone are going to be created. Uh, you alone are going to create that miracle for yourself. Now, what is gonna solve? Um, 
uh, I'm sorry, what is going to be a virtue of you or is going to serve the purpose of a virtue of yours? Uh, that is going to be the ability for you to be able to see the situation from every single angle. And before you decide what to do, you are to consider all points of view. And in fact, at the end, you are going to do the things in terms of your career in such a way and make the decisions in such a fashion that nobody will feel deprived or bereft by, you, by your decisions, nor you are going to feel like you are making a compromise with yourself and with your progress by avoiding conflicts with, uh, with your co-workers and with your boss or with your a supervisor to a point where you are to be really well recognized as someone who is the very least a the peace bringer, okay, like the peacemaker, uh, if you will. And with the magician at the end, your word is to be heard, your position is to be acknowledged and your sovereignty is to be respected, okay, to a point where it's highly likely by the end of the week that you are to be given as an, an example and as as well for some of you that's made an exceptionally good job there uh, you may be offered some kind of a new task or a new project that's it's it's a rare opportunity for anybody around in this case you to uh, pretty much shine even further with their skill and with their knowledge those that are looking for job um, throughout the whole week you may feel like you know you are never gonna find a job until by the end of the week most likely you are to be, how can I say, um, spotted out, if you will, for what you can do. Now, the deal is not sealed, but the very least, you are going to see that somebody or something, some kind of a company, is showing interest to what you can do, and you should take it from there and try to make the things work. So that being said, Aries, this was your a weekly tarot readings in terms of love and career, and uh, hopefully you do enjoy them and you like them, and we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.